how are you enjoying Guyana? Oh, it's the first time here, but it's good. Yeah? Yeah. It's a great and night. For us, I, I only had one guy fight, but Fijon did great, and I'm, I'm very happy and proud of him. Great. Uh, Ed, could you talk a little bit about uh, Lyoto Machida's new contract? Yes. Yeah. It's a great contract. <laughs> how many fights has he signed it's for? It's fight deal. Fight. Yeah. Okay. And, and how do you see him in, in the light, in, in the middleweight picture right now? I think he's a contender already. So I mean, he, you know, to do that to uh, Mark Munoz is not a slouch. And uh, now he's just going to sit back and see what's next for him. You know, actually, we don't have to sit back. He's got Gegard Musashi on February 8th, and um, that's what's on his radar right now. Great. And uh, and uh, could you talk a little bit about the main events tonight? What do you? What's your? What's your uh, prediction? I think it's a tough fight. I, I think it's a tough fight for both guys. I think Vitor has just been looking phenomenal, but you can never count out Dan Henderson. Dan Henderson is one of the toughest fighters, and he's a legend in this sport, and he can't be, uh, you know, taken lightly. So I think, um, you know, I'm sure both guys are very well trained, and whoever uh, commits the first air and the other one capitalizes on it will win. Great. And uh, managing so many great fighters, are you interested in, in them headlining events in, in, new, pla in new places course, in Europe? Of course. I, I mean, I, I love them headlining places. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, the, the, uh, the UFC is an incredible company to work with. They have a plan and their plan always works. Uh, sometimes you have to take different paths, but at the end of the day, the, the UFC, you know, they're not the best organization in the world for, for no reason. You know, they, they obviously know what they're doing and they know when to put the right guy at the right place. Thanks very much. Ed.